The two skipped upstairs. Mother and I watched them go before turning to each other. Mother smiled at me and I smiled back. Although I wasn't sure what we were smiling about. Why don't you help me make supper seeing as Sonia's helping Laura with her homework? I'd much rather sit in front of the telly as usual, but it's not really fair that Vincent has to help her every night. Okay. I moaned. What are we having? How's about omelette? Mother suggested. MMMM. I replied, that being one of my favourites after burgers and pizza of course. I'm not wearing that. I blurted under my breath as mother removed her pinafore-style apron from its hook. Laura might see me. I quietly yet assertively added. I don't think Laura will mind Andrew. Mother said. We both glanced toward the staircase and the sound of footsteps. Thanks Sonia. Laura said, waving the book and smiling. I'll bring it back when I've read it, she added before saying goodbye to each of us and leaving. By Laura. Mother hollered before turning to me and offering me the pinafore once more. Well that's cleared up that little problem, she grinned. I sunk my head and put my arms through the armholes, before turning around so mother could fasten its three buttons. Why don't they put the buttons where I can reach them? I asked. It would make more sense wouldn't it? Mother replied as she turned me to face her. Do you want to peel the potatoes or chop the onions, she asked. Potatoes. I replied. Vincent returned from seeing Laura off and mother told him that I'd kindly offered to help make supper, so you can get on with your homework. Mother suggested. Can I do it after my bath? Vincent asked. I wanted to read my book, he added. Homework. Mother told him. You can read afterwards. With that, Vincent got his books out and took them through to the sitting room and I helped mother by peeling the potatoes and carrots. Next, I mixed the eggs together whilst mother chopped up the cheese, tomatoes and onions. When everything was ready to be served, I asked if I could take my apron off. Mother bypassed my question and told me to tell Sonia that supper was ready. Vincent smiled as he looked me up and down. Tea's ready. I said mournfully. Can I take this off now? I asked as I returned to the kitchen with Vincent following. Mother was busy dishing up. Why don't you help Sonia with her piney, then after supper you can do the washing up together? Mother suggested. Sometimes she had a long-winded way of saying no. Vincent grabbed his piney and hung it over his shoulders and I fastened its buttons for him. Thanks. He meekly said, casting me a smile and glancing at my piney. Vincent always wore one whilst eating supper whilst Gregory and I never did. It felt strange as I sat myself down and arranged the massive fabric over my lap. I recalled the numerous occasions both I and my big brother had teased Vincent for wearing his piney and felt a tinge of guilt. Vincent isn't teasing me, although I wouldn't blame him if he did. How are you getting on with your homework Sonia? Mother asked as we ate. Okay, he replied. I'll do a bit more later, he added. Well I've been having a think. Mother said. Seeing as I have to pester both of you to do your homework. Especially you Andrew, she added, looking directly at me. I think it'll be a good idea if you both get on with your homework as soon as you arrive home from school. Oh, we both moaned, before offering a number of excuses. You can both see your friends or watch TV afterwards. Mother told us before telling us that now on, we'd have to keep our school uniforms on until we'd finished our homework. No more leaving it till the last minute Andrew, she stated. I wasn't happy but I do have a habit of doing it in a rush the night before it's due, and sometimes the following morning too. But what if I want to do something else after school? I whined, as it's not uncommon for a group of us to go into town, to the arcades or back to someone's house. It'll have to wait until after your homework. Mother replied. You'll thank me come Sunday evening when it's all done, and if you both do your homework together you'll be able to help each other.